the young men of Hyam Farris were involved in all aspects of the First World War. I mean, Hyam Farris itself, of course, a big shoe manufacturer at the time, so everybody within the town, whether they served or not, were involved in the First World War. Only 600 servicemen aged, as we know, from 16 right through to the late 40s went off to war in the various fronts, and for, unfortunately, nearly 100 of them failed to return home. The town council was impacted, the mayor had a son who was serving, another councillor, councillor Pack, lost a son, councillor Kilby lost a son. So the, the war impacted on Hyam Farris greatly, as it did any other town within the country. I was putting the meat on the bones of my grandfather and um, found his service records were quite interesting. And somebody said to the wife's brother one day at the um, Western Front Association, that, hey, you're from Hyam Farris, um, we've got some boxes from the mayor of Hyam Farris from the First World War, never been looked at. So on opening the boxes, we found a lot of information, a lot of letters, and they were from names that we never recognised from Remembrance Services. So these men had actually served in the war and survived. And from that, we wanted more information about those soldiers as well. And everything started from there, really. Now, the letters we have from the soldiers are very upbeat, mostly. Um, most of them were thinking the war would be over a lot earlier than what it was. Um, some thinking as early as 1915, but it shows the perspective that the troops didn't really know how serious it was and how bad things were because they were kept in the dark to a great extent. The, the documents and, and photographs we have are very moving at times. Mr and Mrs Newell are dread to think what they would have thought every time they saw the postboy go towards Kennel Row down by the walnut tree. Because every time he seemed to call at their house with a postcard saying that they'd lost another son and eventually they lost four out of five sons. We also have the Methodist football teams which show those soldiers as young men, young boys, and you can go through and look at the names and you say, well, he survived, he passed away, he survived. The Community Foundation contribution we've had towards the, the book, which is the Hyam Farris, The War Walk, which takes you on a walk around Hyam Farris, which shows street by street those men that served, those men who passed away, and bringing to life their stories from records and letters and documents found during our research tells where they died, how they died, when they were wounded, those who survived, and occasionally there's a funny tale. And it also shows Hyam Farrers at the time of the war through the photographs we've taken and had given to us from other people in the town, and also Hyam Farrers today, so that anyone coming into the town today to look at it will still recognise where they are by the modern photographs and still be able to put it into perspective with the older photographs. The people of Hyam Farris have been very generous in the donation of documents because it seems as though they want to perpetuate the memory of all of those who served in the war.